No, my legs are too tired. I'm gonna fall. Oh my gosh, I did it. Congratulations, Ben. You won a hundred million dollars. I, I actually did it. I can't believe this. This is all real? That is right, Ben. Thanks, Mr. Beast. Oh, wow. You changed my life forever. Yeah, and I just won, guys. It was insane. Yeah, that's great, Ben, but what are we doing here? Yeah, I've got somewhere else to be. Well, my first purchase, I wanted us to get a better place to live. I know we haven't had much all of our lives, but look at this. Wait, what? This is, this is our home? Yeah, right. I don't believe it. I know it's not easy to believe, but it is. This is really our home. This is incredible. I never in a million years did I think I'd have a house like this. We never have to worry about being borderline homeless again, guys. Because you got all that money, I want to know, can I have some? I'm going to probably need stuff for my room. You know, like a bed and new sheets. Yeah, man, of course. You're my brother. Here, take a couple thousand dollars. Ha, huh, sick. I could use the leftover to buy a PS5. Well, just take it easy, all right? Man, I've never actually seen your brother so happy. Well, here you go, Dad. Here's some money too, all right? What? No, ben, no. This is your money. I, I can't accept this. We're a family, okay? So what's mine is yours. You worked hard your entire life just to provide for me. This is the least I can do. Ben, thank you. Now go on. Go check out our new home. All right, Jason, I'm having a really hard time figuring out what car to buy. I don't know, Mom. I think you should just buy all of them. Actually, that's not a bad idea. But have you seen this car? over here. This paint job is incredibly rare. The seats, imported leather, and the headlights. Oh, don't even get me started on how bright those headlights are. Wow, this thing must be really expensive. Dude, you're like an insane millionaire now. Just buy it. All right, fine. Yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boys, you two are funny. There is no way you can afford this car. It's almost $500,000. Well, my best friend is a millionaire, okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Here, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, right. Okay. I'll be back in a minute when this card's declined. Hey, guys, check it out. This dumb kid thinks he's rich. Wow, that salesman's something else, huh? He took one look at me and just assumed I was poor. Well, stop complaining, man, all right? You could buy this car easily. Bet once you have it, too, you're gonna think you're so cool, huh? Yeah, I mean, I won the competition. I'm just as surprised as you are. I don't know why you should get it, and I can't. We're supposed to be best friends, man. Can't you buy one for me? I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't want to just be giving my money away, dude. I know I'm gonna have all these things now, but I'm still just a normal person. I I don't think so. Money changes people, all right? I wouldn't be surprised if you aren't talking to me in two weeks from now. Dude, you're my childhood friend. I'd never do that to you. Well, a normal person can't just buy designer clothes in a $500,000 car whenever they want. Well, I assure you it's not, okay? I, uh, um, I have no words. The car is yours. See? Just like I told you. You want to take it for a drive, Jason? Cha. Yeah, whatever. Greg, this is the third time this week. I know, boss. I'm really sorry. If you're late again, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, Ben, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm here for work. Oh, I'm just surprised. I heard you're super rich now. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. I still want to work and put myself to good use. You? Good use? You're like the worst employee I have, besides Greg. Hey, I just assumed that you're a lazy, good-for-nothing rich kid now, and you were just gonna quit. Yeah, well, you assumed wrong, okay? You don't even deserve that money. Someone like me, hardworking man does. I take that money and go on a vacation, probably somewhere tropical. I deserve that money more than you do. Hey, that's not true. Ben is one of the hardest working people I've ever met. He's definitely the hardest working person in this arcade. Shut up, Greg. Why don't you go fix the claw machine like I asked? I need new employees. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate you standing up for me back there. Yeah, man, don't mention it. That guy is the worst. I can't believe I didn't get to text you, though. Congratulations on winning all the money. But I do have to say, it's not what I expected it to be. What do you mean? I don't know. I just, I expected everyone in my life to, you know, benefit from it. People have just been treating me differently, and I don't know if I like it. They're just jealous, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't know. It just has me thinking, you know? What if I'm not the one that deserved to win the money? What if someone out there needed it more than me? Ben, you can't think like that. You definitely deserve that money. Congratulations again. Now, I gotta go fix that claw machine before a boss yells at me again. All right, guys, we should head home. Uh, no. I'm not done shopping yet. There's those new Gucci slides, and I need, like, three Supreme hoodies. Come on, guys. It's family game night tonight. We do it every week. Oh, family game night. I completely forgot. Come on, Will. Let's head home. I want to go buy that stuff. You're being a little too extravagant with it, all right? Yeah, well, it's not like you don't have the money, okay? We're rich now. Yeah, well, it's my money, all right? And I'm putting my foot down. We're not spending any more. No, I want to continue shopping. Dude, look at how you're acting. You're like a completely different person now. You're rich and selfish, and you're keeping all the money to yourself. 
yourself! Well, calm down. You're causing a scene. I'm not gonna calm down! I want that stuff! I deserve it! Then maybe you should just go continue shopping with your brother. The way he stops pulling this tantrum. No, I'm not gonna give him a single cent more. <laughs> Me, we've been poor our whole lives. Why don't you want me to be happy? Oh my gosh. Stop crying, man. Fine. We'll go to like one or two more stores. Good. I need someone to carry all my bags. Let's go. Cha, you see my best friend right here? Yeah, he happens to just be a millionaire. I'm best friend with the richest person in town. Oh yeah, it is you, isn't it? I saw you on that Mr. Beast video. It must be easy to get millions of dollars for doing nothing. I mean, it wasn't that easy. I stood in that circle for days, dude. Yeah, well, you know what it takes to be a waiter? I stand on my feet all day long. I get paid five bucks an hour for this. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, okay? Yeah, well, here's your check. Dude, that that dinner was so expensive. How many things did you order, Jason? Like, what can I say, man? The best place in the city. Of course it was expensive. Well, dude, I know you don't have a job. How are you going to pay for this? Ha, huh, me? Hi? Dude, stop joking with me right now. I know you got the bill. Wait, you think I'm just gonna buy your food? Why would you assume that? What do you mean, why would I assume that? Isn't that just a given? No, see, this is what I mean. Were you even listening to me earlier? I told you, people just keep treating me differently. No, I was eating my lasagna. I'm not gonna buy it, all right? You can buy it on your own. Hey, wait, Bon, get back here! Uh, anybody have some spare change, please? Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, man, that guy really needs help. I have an idea. Hey, uh, sir, uh, here, I got this for you. Uh, what's this? This. It's a whole bag of food. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> That's beautiful. Really, Mon? You're just gonna go give this guy a bunch of food? You don't even know him. Dude, you can't be serious right now. He's homeless. He needs it. Chow, well, I need my best friend to buy my meals too. It's obvious that you don't have your priorities set straight, Jason. Like, no, it's obvious that you don't know what you're talking about. Chase, such a friend you are. You are so stupid, Ben. Jason called and told me what you did the other night. Just buying homeless people food? Are you crazy? No. No, I'm not. If I didn't win that Mr. Beast video, that's how we were going to be in a couple weeks from now. Yeah, well, we're obviously not now. We're the wealthiest people in town. You shouldn't be throwing your money at stupid poor people. Dude, I don't know what's gotten into both of you and Jason. You guys are acting completely different. I am not. Jason's probably just jealous because we're rich now and he isn't. Maybe signing up for that Mr. Beast video was a bad idea. Uh, no, it wasn't. That reminds me. I want to go buy a yacht so I can have a party on the yacht. Gonna need to borrow your card. No, dude. Why don't you go out and get a job. What did you just say to me? All you're doing all day is staying home playing a new PlayStation with the money that I gave you. Go get a job and make use out of yourself. You are the worst brother ever! Ben, what is going on? Why are you yelling at a customer? No, that was my brother. He's just acting up. Ugh, listen. I don't care about your sad, rich boy problems, okay? I have my own problems to worry about. Hey, man, I never said that, okay? We all have our problems. I'm just kind of dealing with mine right now. Yeah, well, my problem is now going to be your problem. You have to stay late tonight. What? Why? Well, I fired Greg, and you have to cover his shift. You did what? Greg was a good worker. Yeah, but he kept on coming into work late. Plus, I hated him. He had to go. Fine, I'll work late. All right, where is he at? I didn't know Greg lived here. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, Greg! Ben, wh what are you doing here? Hey, man, I, I heard about everything that happened. That's insane that you were fired. Yeah, it really sucks. But, uh, you, you shouldn't be here. You should go. Nah, dude, we've been working together forever now. I want to make sure you're okay. Well, to be honest, look around. I'm not okay. I got fired from my only real paying job. I'm trying to fix up this hunk of junk car so I can sell it and they don't take my home. That's why I was late all the time because I was working another job. Yeah, I knew you weren't a bad worker. Don't worry. You don't have to convince me. Listen, I, I kind of know what you're going through, okay? Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that now. You're super rich. The rest of your life is going to be easy. Look, man, I didn't think I was actually going to win that Mr. Beast contest. I entered because I was kind of desperate. I was in a similar situation like you are. Really? And because of it, I want to help you out too, okay? Because you deserve it. Here, here's some money to get you back on your feet. No, Ben, I can't do that. Listen, dude, you can't go homeless, and I'm not going to allow that to happen. I just want to help. You could just pay me back. Wow, I promise I, I will pay you back, Ben. This is awesome. I'm not going to lose my home. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just think it is so stupid that you won't give your own brother some money, but you'll just throw it away to poor people all the time. Well, just calm down. Shut up, Dad. Ben keeps giving away all our money. We're going to have nothing again and we'll be poor. So what difference does it make if I give my money to someone that actually needs it compared to just giving it to you? I need to party on a yacht. What don't you understand about that? It's our money. No, it's my money. Ben is 
right, Will. He's the one that won that money. He can do whatever he wants with it. You need to be more grateful for what we do have. Yeah, but I want more. What has gotten into your brother? I don't know, Dad. But when I first got this money, Jason warned me that money's gonna change people. While I don't think it's changing me, I think it clearly has a grasp on Will. Dumb Ben with all that money. He's gonna keep it all to himself. And then I'm gonna be poor again. I'm gonna go take his card. Where is it? Ha, huh, there it is. Now time to do some shopping. All right, here's your check. All right, thank you. Here, uh, you can just use this card. All right, I'll be right back. Ben, thank you so much for taking me out. I don't think I've had food this good in years. Yeah, dude, don't mention it. How have you been doing, by the way? Well, I finally got a new job. And it actually pays way more than that arcade job. You should probably get hired there, too. I'll put a good word in for you. See? Look at what I told you. Situations may seem bad at first, but they always happen for a reason. And honestly, with that help you gave me, it allowed me to focus on getting this job. So this is all kind of because of you. Excuse me, sir. This card is declined. No, no, no. That, that can't be right. Are you sure that's my card? Uh, Yeah, this is the card you gave me. And I put it through the machine three times. Says it's declined. <laughs> so much of the richest man in town. No, that, that doesn't make sense. I didn't even spend that much. Uh, it's, it's no big deal. Here, here's the money for the food. I've got it. <sighs> well, at least someone has some money. Thanks, Greg. But yeah, of course. I told you I was going to pay you back eventually. It's the least I could do. What do you think happened? Don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to figure that out, though. Yeah, so we actually found some big transactions that happened over the past few days. I haven't spent that much money at all this last week. Uh, well, that's not what this says, first of all. Secondly, um, let's see. It's uh, a yacht, a uh, library performance from Ariana Grande, a security team, and $45,000 spent at a Supreme store. What? Yeah, there's more. Uh, hold on, I can keep reading the list. No, 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 no. That's enough. I never bought any of those things. Wait a second. I know who's behind all of this. Here you go, Ben. Happy birthday. I know it's not much, but I'd figure you'd like a new cell phone case. No, it's enough, Dad. It's, it's the thought that matters. But where's Will at? I have something I have to settle with him. Well, uh, I'm not sure. He left the other day. Uh, he hasn't come back yet. I need to have a word with him. Hey, what's up, nerds? Well, there you are. Where have you been? None of your business. I think it is some of my business, actually. Aren't you going to wish him a happy birthday? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday or whatever. Well, do you have a gift for him or anything? <laughs> a gift? No. Ben's the rich one. He can buy his own gifts. No, I'm not. Because you took everything from me. I'm not rich anymore and all my money's gone, dude. Wait. What, Ben? What are you talking about? Uh, Yo, yeah, what do you mean you're broke? Cut the act, Will. I know it was you. You stole all my money from me and you used it to buy a yacht for your stupid party, dude. Yeah, it was super fun. I was just coming back. You want to see the selfies? Will, are you insane? You stole from your brother? Yeah, so what? He wasn't giving me the money, so I just took it. It's his fault. Really? It's my fault? It's my fault that you stole money from someone else? Why are you yelling at me? Because this money went straight to your head. I can't can't even be around you right now. You're supposed to be my family. Ben, where are you going? What are you talking about? You want to return this car? There's no way I'm going to afford the insurance on it now. You were the richest man in town. What did you do with it all? It's not important. It's just some family drama. Well, look, you already drove the car off the lot, and I think I see a couple of dings here, so I'm not going to be able to give you full price for it. I'll see what I can do. All right. Thanks, man. Here. Here's the card. It's a shame. This car is sweet. Hey, Ben! Wait, Mr. Beast? What are you doing here? Dude, I come here at least once a week. These videos are not cheap, all right? I gotta buy a ton of sports cars for these things. What are you doing? I'm sure you're here to spend some of your winnings. No, that's not it at all, actually. My own brother got upset with me because I was giving the money away to other people that I thought needed it. He did some things, and now all of it's gone. So I have to sell the car. Oh, dude, that sucks. If you uh, need some advice, I can give you some. I have to deal with having all this money all the time. So I know how to invest it and make more money. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd love some advice. Well, I mean, since it's yours, you gotta do whatever you want with it. Don't let other people around you tell you what to do, okay? All the money that I make, I use it to give back more to my videos. Because that's my passion, and that's what I love to do. What I want to do is help people in need. I don't want anyone to have to go through being homeless. There's your answer, Ben. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do with it. All right, guys, pay attention. What are we doing here? This is so lame. Yeah, Ben, what are we doing at a homeless shelter? Well, I got some of my money back by selling my car and obviously all the ridiculous stuff that Will bought. You did what? You returned my stuff? How could you? Dude, technically that's my stuff, okay? But everything I got back, I donated the rest of it and I uh, built this. Ben, you built a homeless shelter? Yeah, Dad, for people in need. I want to use this money to help others. And now we all have a job, so we're going to be fine ourselves. No! I'm not working here. That's stupid. 
I'm sure the real Will will come out eventually. Yo, whatever! I can't believe this! Ben, don't listen to your brother. I'm proud of you. You did the right thing. Thanks, Dad. It feels really good. Because of this whole Mr. Beast challenge, I think my life is finally how I want it to be. I did it! I'm the last one! I won the contest! Congratulations, Dylan! You have won the Chocolate Factory contest! Ooh, this is awesome! Now listen, this Chocolate Factory is not going to be easy, so I have a side offer of a million dollars. It's your choice, Dylan. What are you going to decide for? I want to keep the Chocolate Factory. Really? Are you sure? It's not an easy gig to run this thing. I know, but I think it'll be worth it. I think this could really help my family. Uh, hey, hey man, stop, stop running. Get back here. No, nah, dude, leave me alone. I've got to find a place to hide. This looks fine. Oh, man, what is with that guy? Oh, hey, man, I found you. There's no way you can run from me. You're that guy that was in the Mr. Beast video, all right? Yeah, that was me. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I love Mr. Beast. Give me your money. Give me, give me everything that you got. I want the money and the chocolate. I want all of it. Oh, my gosh. Fine. Here, have some money. Jeez. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. It's Mr. Beast owned this money. This is amazing. Damn, that guy is crazy crazy. I never thought in a million years I'd be, like, recognized like this. No, Jack, I'm serious. I won, and now I own the chocolate factory. I'm really happy that you won, dude. I knew you had it in you. Yeah, and I want you, my brother, to help me run the chocolate factory. What do you say? You really think I'm gonna turn that down? That's amazing. This is great. I hate working for Glenn. He's the worst. Yeah, from what you keep telling me, your boss is really mean. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a huge upgrade. Well, yeah, you'll be working for me now, and I'm gonna treat everybody that works for me with respect, and I hope one day with this chocolate the factory maybe i'll get back to the community too yeah that'll be amazing wait did you hear that yeah something's going on outside <laughs> mr williams what's wrong i just lost my job they closed the office and my son is sick i can't buy a medicine now i just don't know what to do i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm crying no mr williams it's okay everything's gonna be fine oh, let me help you you need a job desperately well i just got a chocolate factory you what yeah it's true what why don't you come work for me? I'm gonna need as much help as I can get. That would be great. All right, first day with the chocolate factory. Man, I cannot wait to get this thing up and running. It's already making a difference in my life and I hope I can make a difference in other people's too. Yeah, you think you could really take one of my employees away from me, huh? Who do you think you are? Oh, you must be Glenn, my brother's old boss. Yeah, that's right. He quit my successful job to go and work for your stupid factory. Yeah, I want this to be a family business. I offered him the job and he couldn't wait to quit working for you. You. All right, listen here, kid. I'm gonna give you one chance and one chance only. Sell me the chocolate factory. Excuse me? Yeah, let's be honest. Between me and you, you have no idea how to run a business. You're gonna run it to the ground. So I'm gonna buy it off of you. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I'm definitely not selling this chocolate factory, especially not to you. You can't be serious. You're really gonna sit there and try to ruin my food empire, huh? Listen, this is one chocolate factory, okay? It's not gonna ruin your empire. I just wanna provide for my family and help the community. That's all. Yeah, well, that's how I know your business is going to fail. Caring about others, you're not going to get anywhere. The only thing that's important in this industry is making the money. Well, I never really had money before. So if I do get it, I'm going to use it for good. It's not all about money, man. <laughs> oh, you're going to regret saying that. You're going to be sorry for not giving me your factory, kid. You still can't get over how crazy this place is. Look at it. It's like something out of a movie or something. Yeah, it seriously blows my mind that this is all ours. Well, we better get used to it. This is going to be our life for a while. We're going to make some really great candy and so many people are gonna love it but i've got an idea yeah i'm all ears man i think we should expand already start making healthier foods too and turn this factory into a place that can help feed people in need all over the world that's an amazing idea i knew if anyone had the right mindset going into this it's gonna be you well it's both of us now wait a second what was that did you hear that whoa whoa one of the company trucks is on fire oh my gosh how did this happen i don't know but we need to stay back we need to call the fire department dude i think this was our first shipment that's why we need to get this under control. We gotta make sure this first delivery goes out. This is our first impression. All right, I'm calling the fire department right now. Man, this is working out perfectly. We're giving out all this food to people that actually need it. We're really making an impact on these people's lives, Jack. Yeah, everyone's getting a bunch of healthy food, especially the people in need. And word is spreading like wildfire. Stores are buying our products too. That way we can actually start making some money as well. Hey, hey, you can't be doing this. You guys understand me? Um, sorry, doing what exactly? Doing all this, man. What does it look like I'm talking about? You standing in front of all your food. You're seriously running me and my boss's company out of business over here. Helping people in need isn't gonna ruin your boss's company. And let me guess, you work for Glenn.
Glenn, don't you? Yeah, that's right. And guess what? Me and Glenn bought this entire parking lot. And you two are trespassing. Trespassing on a parking lot? Ugh, whatever. Come on, Jack. Let's pack up our stuff. No, no, no. Before you guys go, you guys got to leave your stuff here. We're taking all that too. That's ours. Excuse me? No, you're not. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to. This is absolutely ridiculous, man. I thought you hated working for Glenn too. Yeah, well, I hated you more. We were going to make sure we're going to stop this little income you guys are getting, all right? We're not making any money from this. We're helping people in need. So you're really just going to stop us from doing that? Yeah, that's right. And guess what? If you want all your old stuff back, you can go talk to boss man Glenn, all right? See the offer he'll give you. Dude, you're missing the whole point here. Why are you trying to ruin this? Get out of here! Oh, man, this frustrates me so much. can't believe that guy Glenn would do that. Taking away all that food from people that actually needed it. I mean, it's such a jerk. I had to deal with that the entire time I worked there. And Stevie isn't that much better either. Yeah, no, clearly not. <sighs> Jack, what are we going to do now? Wait, hold on. I think something's going on on the TV. I'm here with the owner of the massive food empire, Glenn's Groceries. Glenn, talk to me. You've got something you want to say to the world? Yeah, yeah. There's a few things I'd like to say, all right? First of all, that stupid chocolate factory, it's not what it says it is. Oh, very cryptic. What kind of information you got for us, Glenn? Well, we had to take food away from the owners because I found out he was getting bad food away to all the homeless people. Bad food? You mean spoiled, rotten, probably filled with maggots? Exactly. I can't bring it to my heart to give the homeless people out there such bad food. It just, it's not right. Well, this man owns a food empire and he's got a massive heart. Ladies and gentlemen, if you accepted free food from that owner of the chocolate factory, please go see your doctor. You're probably going to be extremely sick. And whatever you do, do not buy it again. Did that just happen? What is wrong with that guy? I don't know, man. He's obviously playing dirty. He's a liar. All of that food was good. I know for sure because I checked it all myself. We've got to stop him. I'm not going to stand for this. What is all of this? Where did all these people come from? Um, hey, can I help you guys with something? Our boss, Glenn, he, he fired all of us. All of you used to work for Glenn? Why? Why did he fire you all? I don't know. He was just mean to all of us and he decided to get rid of us. He didn't even have a good reason. That man is completely out of control. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think ever since the whole news thing, the fame has gone to his head. You mean all the lies he was spreading about me? Yeah, I bet so. And now, my wife and my little boy Billy probably won't have a place to stay in a couple of weeks. No, 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 that's not true. Everything's gonna be fine. Look, everybody here, you all have jobs. You can work with me at the chocolate factory. Seriously? You really mean that? I could really use the job. Yeah, of course I mean it. I can't believe that Glenn took all that out on you guys. It's not fair. All of them seriously wants to go work for that guy? This is ridiculous. I mean, boss, you kind of did fire them, you know? I didn't expect them to go so low and work for the enemy, that's for sure. Well, there's nothing that we can do now, all right? Well, I want to make sure I get that factory from him, and then they'll have the rest of the factories in the area. If I do, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Yeah, and then you can raise all the prices and everything, and then everyone can be all in, like, a really bad financial spot, you know? All that matters is that I get rich. This Dylan guy doesn't know a thing. He always puts others in front of himself, and that's why he's gonna fail in this industry. Yeah, yeah, like you always say. Help yourself before you help others, that's right. Don't cut me off. Sorry, boss. There's still one problem, boss. I, 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 after everything, I don't think that Dylan guy is gonna sell his factory. You seriously don't think I I have a plan, huh? I never said that. Well, good, because I do, and it's gonna start now. All right, we're the first ones here. Let's open up the factory and... Oh, my gosh. Jack! Everything, it's, it's destroyed! What happened here? Who could have done this? Oh, I know who it had to have been. How to have been Glenn. And 100% how to be him. I thought he was just jealous, but now, now he's actually committing crimes? I'm not gonna stand for this. Oh, wow, look at all this. This is a, a true shame, boys. Don't act like you care, Glenn. I I know you're the one behind all this. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, don't point any fingers, all right? I had nothing to do with this. But all I know, it's gonna be an expensive fix. Yeah, right, Glenn, I know who you are. You're a liar. Can't trust anything that comes out of your mouth. Just like all that stuff you lied about on the news, too. And you know what? I don't care how expensive this is gonna be. I will fix this, and you're not gonna stop me. Other people rely on me, and I'm gonna help them. Well, look at you, Mr. Tough Guy over here. You keep spending all that money, pretty soon you're not gonna be able to afford to open this place. And when the time is right, I'm going to buy this place. And you are going to lose it. <laughs> I'll never sell this place. Not to you, Glenn. Get lost. Oh, man. That guy makes me so upset. Oh, we've 
gotta fix this place. After all the headache that Glenn caused us, at least I still have this truck of food. None of this was destroyed. I might not be able to save the factory. After all of this, Glenn was kind of right. Spending a lot of money fixing all the stuff he's broken, and I've got to make sure I pay everybody fair enough money too. Man, this is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. But at least this will help a lot of people. That's what matters the most. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Ah, this is the food delivery. Here it is. Yeah. Later, sucker. Well, wait. Hey, no, no. That's my truck. No. Glenn's going to be so happy. Glenn? Oh, he has gone too far this time. What am I going to do now? I just feel so defeated. Every time I take a step forward, that guy Glenn comes in, messes it up, and I take two steps back. I can never get ahead. Look at this place. It's still destroyed and... Oh, man. Dylan, you really messed it up this time. Hey, Dylan. I've been seeing everything that's been going on on the news. Mr. Beast? What are you doing here? Listen, I can spot a liar when I see them. And I know that Glenn guy's been running you out of business. Yeah, all I've been doing is try to help people and he's been doing nothing but get in my way. He literally had someone steal a truck of food. That was for homeless people. Yeah, and that's why I'm here to help you. I appreciate the help, Mr. Beast, but you've already given me so much of an opportunity. I can't take anything more from you. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to because I wanna help you so that you can help the people out there that need it the most. Here, take a hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars? That's an insane amount of money. Yeah, and I know that it's gonna go to good use. Yeah, it absolutely will. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just do what's right. I think this was the best idea I've ever had. Opening up a massive food bank, giving back to the community. You know, if it wasn't for Mr. Beast, none of this would have happened. This is an outrage. An absolute outrage. Uh, you again. Yeah, listen here. Because of you, no one is buying any of my products. And I've been having to shut down my factories. You understand me? It's because your products are way too expensive. You probably have to shut down your factories because you don't have anyone working for you anymore. Because you're the worst boss ever. That's not true, all right? You know, if you treated people a little bit better, maybe your life would be different. Oh, you're gonna regret saying that? This is not over, Dylan. You understand me? It's not over. You can try all you want to stop me. It's never gonna work. I'm gonna keep helping people forever. Oh man, I hate living like this. I'm sorry. Stealing my food? You're the worst, stupid, poor losers. Oh, this is awful. I'm not always gonna live like this. I'm gonna change. Andy, Dad, I was able to get us some food. Well, what did you find? That's it? Just a bag of chips? Are you serious? Listen, it's all I could grab. I'm sorry. Well, you've got two hands, and you just get one bag of chips? Ugh. I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe you guys can go try and commit a crime. Oh, anyways, I gotta go. I think that store owner's still following me. Where are you, you poor loser? Oh, no. I think the guy found me. This there he is, you criminal! I can hide here. I'm gonna find you, I swear! Colt, you are such a disappointment. I thought you bought that food, and I found out you stole it. I'm sorry, I know it was wrong, but you were starving, guys. Now my son is a good-for-nothing criminal. I thought I raised you right. I'm not a criminal, okay? I just didn't want you guys to go hungry. I do my best to take care of you and your brother, and this is how you repay me. What do you mean, take care of us? You haven't done anything to help any of us. The only person you care about is yourself. Andy's starving over over there, Dad. Oh, what? You think you could do better on your own, huh? Then why don't you just get out of here? We don't need you around here anyways. I'm still here because I care about you guys. You're still my family, and I want to make sure you're okay. Well, clearly, your brother and I are doing just fine without you. Now get out of here. Ugh, whatever, Dad. Hey, Cole, wait. I'm uh, really sorry about everything. It's okay. You know how Dad can get. Just want to make sure you're going to be okay. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. That hunger was getting to my head. Like I wasn't acting like myself, but you can't leave. Where are you gonna go? I don't know, man, but I'm gonna make something out of myself. I promise. I'm tired of living like this. I am too. Can I go with you, please? You're not at the age yet, Andy, and if I take you, Dad's gonna get really mad, but I'll promise you one thing. What? When I'm successful one day, you're the first person that I'm coming back for. All right, I think this is the best course of action. If I want to help my family, the only way to do it is by going somewhere else. There's no future waiting for me here. I need to make a difference in the world. I don't have any money to do so yet, but that guy looks like he does. Yes, Donovan, cancel my my Wednesday and bring it over to Tuesday, okay? I need that appointment ASAP. And also cancel my Thursday. I'm so over that guy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Listen, I know it's asking for a lot, but you have a couple dollars so I can get a train ticket? Hold on a second, Donovan. A poor is talking to me. What, you're asking for some money? You think it's just free? No, of course not. I never said that. I just, you know, I really need the help. So you think you can just ask for help and get what you want and get money for it? Listen, kid, I work to take care of my family, okay? Well, I want to do the same, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I want to work 
for it. Well, good. I respect someone that actually wants to work for some money and give back and help others and not just keep it all themselves. Here, you know what, kid? Have a hundred bucks. Wait, hold on. No, that's too much. I just asked for a couple dollars. Kid, I'm literally giving you a hundred dollars right now and you don't want it? This is like a penny to me. Actually, reminds me of that time I turned a penny into a million dollars. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, good luck with everything, kid. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. It's the city. I haven't been here my entire life. This is gonna be it. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. And I won't forget what that guy said. Work hard. Never forget where you came from. Oh my goodness. Get out of the road. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't see you. Oh, okay. There we go. I made it across safely. I'm not sure what to do, really. I don't have anywhere to go. First things first. I probably should get a job. Hey, excuse me. Are you guys hiring here? <laughs> yeah, right. Like we would ever hire the likes of you. Hey, man. What is that supposed to mean? I really need a job, okay? I'm willing to do whatever. Yeah, but we're not about charity here, okay? We're not about to waste our time on pathetic poor people that come in and beg for jobs. It happens every day. Well, we're the people that need it the most, you know? And you don't know me. You don't know who I am. I can surprise you. And if you give me the chance, I will surprise you. Listen, kid, this restaurant is only for the rich and famous. They don't want to be looking at poor folk like you while they're eating. They might puke. Oh, that was just rude. You know what? Someday, I'm gonna be back. Watch. And I'm gonna be a customer. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, right. Well, pretty sure that guy thought I was homeless because of what I was wearing. So first things first, I gotta get some new clothes. And probably a place to stay would be nice, too, so they don't get so dirty. Alright, well, this place looks perfect. Well, it's not a house, but at least it's a tent. And I look a lot nicer now. And I also have 50 bucks left. I gotta make sure I'm smart about the budget on this. I can use the rest of the money to eat until I find a job. That way I'll be safe. Man, I'm just... I'm worried about Andy. I wonder how him and dad are doing. I just want to help them so bad. They need it more than they're willing to admit. Andy's the most important person in my entire life. And all I want for him to do is succeed. But in order for that to happen, I need to do it first. I guess I just got to see what happens tomorrow. Hi, can I? Don't you talk to me! Get out of my store! Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a job. Yeah, well, you're not working here. Get out! Hi, uh... Did this piece of trash just talk to me? No. Oh, man. No luck at any of these places. At least this spot in the city looks peaceful. Maybe I'm just not going to figure any of this out. I'm not sure where I'm going to go. I don't even think I have enough for a train ticket back. I just need one chance. Just anything. Come on, life. Give me a signal. Something. Oh, please. Somebody help me. Oh, my gosh. Someone needs help. Uh, wait right there. Uh, are you all right, man? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. I was out of my boat and I just fell overboard. Now my boat's gone. Well, at least you're safe, okay? I'm glad you were here. Usually there's no one down by the docks. Yeah, of course. Do you need me to get you any help or anything, or? No, man. I'm good. I have to buy a new boat now. That's gonna suck. But you help me. Let me help you. No, I don't want anything in return. I'm just glad that you're okay. Come on, man. It's the least I can do. How about I, uh, get you a burger or something? Let me buy you lunch. You know what? Lunch doesn't sound like a bad idea. Great. Here, have my business card. Meet me at my office tomorrow afternoon. I'll take you out to lunch. Call my man. There you are. Thanks for meeting me. Of course. Where do you want to go? I'm going to take you to one of my favorite restaurants in town. Come on, I'll drive. Oh, this thing's sick. Yeah, I know, right? Hold on tight. This baby kicks. Oh, Mr. Danny, hello. Yes, we have your table and oh my gosh, you again. How many times do I have to tell you you are not working here? I'm so sorry, Mr. Danny. This trash has just walked in. Yo, you're not talking to my friend like that, are you? Uh, this is your, uh, your friend? Yeah, this man is my friend, and he's here to have lunch with me. Oh, uh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Mr. Danny. I, I, I didn't know. Now, I want you to apologize to my friend right now. Nah, man, it's okay. I'm not gonna take anything this guy says to heart. Nah, dude, people shouldn't treat you like that. Is it true, though? You came in here looking for a job? Yeah, I just came in the city the other day, and I've been looking for a job ever since I've been here. Well, dude, you found one because you're working for me. And as for you, Francis... I'm calling James. No, no, please, that's my boss. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell him to fire you because you're a disrespectful jerk. Seriously, thank you so much again. I still can't believe I'm getting a job finally. Well, man, you definitely earned it. You're a selfless person. I mean, you saved my life and you're a complete stranger. Well, you were. What is it that you do at the job exactly? We build real estate empires. My dad started this company when he was super young. I've worked hard and this empire has grown, man. Stick with me and I'll teach you how to build your own empire. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Wow, how did I get so lucky. That's everything I've ever wanted. Look, Colt, working for me, you're going to be making some real money. But most importantly, you're going to learn more than ever what it's like to build wealth and relationships, you know? Yeah. I'm so excited to finally get started. I'm finally back home. Dad? Andy? Wait, Colt? Colt, is that really you? Yeah, it's really me. I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh my gosh, look at you. You look great, man. Thank you. Everything's going so well. What are you doing here? It's been like months. Well, I want to take you with me. We can have a good day together out in the city. Really? Yeah, I'm down. Let's go! 
hold on, hold on. I have something to do before we go. Yeah, hi, excuse me, sir? Hold on a second, you look familiar. Yeah, you're the one who stole from me. I know, I'm sorry, okay? I was just stealing to eat and provide for my family, but I know it was wrong. It was wrong. You stealing from me is like taking away from my family, too. I didn't even think about it that way. Listen, I know I was in the wrong, and I want to give you something for it. What? A uh, hundred bucks? But, but you only stole one bag of chips. Yeah, I know, but still, this should make up for it. Ugh. Uh, thanks, I guess. Whoa, Colt. I know, Andy. Let's go have a fun day together. <laughs> that was so much fun. Thank you so much for these new clothes. I look kind of cool, don't I? Yeah, you look great. Where on earth have you been? Uh, uh, Dad, I was worried sick about you. I I'm sorry. Colt just came by and he took me out to the city. Hey, Dad. Funny you showing your face around here, huh? What do you want? You're looking all fancy. Got some money now, don't you? Yeah, I've been working really hard for it. And now you think you do that, you're better than me, huh? What? No, of course not. I never said that. Well, guess where I was? Working hard all day, but I got fired again. Dad, you got fired? Yeah, the boss caught me sleeping on the job. I was tired, though. Well, I think I can help you guys out, okay? We don't want any of your help. What is up with you? I'm your son, you know. We're supposed to be family, and look how you're treating me. Just take this. It's a bag of money. It'll help you guys out. Whoa, how much money is there? I don't know. It's just what I've been earning for the last three months, but it's enough to get you guys a new place and some decent food, at least. And you think you're just gonna come back here and hand it over? No, no, take it. I don't want it, and I never want to see you again. You're being irrational, Dad. Just take it. Why can't you just accept me helping you? It's okay to not have everything figured out, and I want to still be able to be around Andy. I don't want you around your brother no more. You're a bad influence on him. Probably stole all this money. That's not true. I worked for it. Well, I don't care what you did. Now get out. Look at this place, Danny. It's my first home. Not too shabby for your first place, man, but, dude, you should look more happy. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just, uh, my brain's in foggy, that's all. Just think about my brother. It's his birthday. Well, why don't you go see him or go talk to him or something? It's a little bit more complicated than that. Let me guess. It's your dad, right? Yeah. Last time I talked to him, it didn't sound like he was changing anytime soon. Yeah, but a lot of time has passed now, and your dad did take all that money you gave them. So, maybe it's all over by now. You know, maybe he's changed. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Maybe I'll try giving him a phone call. Can't hurt to try, dude. All right, well, it's ringing. Yeah, you reached my phone and I'm not answering. Leave a message. Yep. He sent me straight to voicemail. Oh, man, this sucks. I don't want Andy to have to live throughout his life without his older brother around. Yeah, man, but I mean, at least you've got a new place to live and your life is doing great. There's a lot of opportunities in front of you. Your family will always be there. You'll figure it out. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe I'll even attempt to try and go see them someday soon. Hey, what's the matter with that guy over there? Let me go see what's up. Hey, is everything all right, man? You look pretty bummed. Today's my last day of work. I'm closing down my business for good. No way. Really? Why? What's going on? Just can't afford it anymore. Everything's getting so expensive. Yeah, tell me about it. But uh, maybe I can help you out. I used to order from your place all the time, and your food's great. Oh, really? Uh, thank you. Uh, any help you could give would be great. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Uh, we can partner up, and I can invest in your guys' restaurant. Ah, uh, but the building's too expensive, you know? We aren't going to be able to afford the rent. Well, I don't have that much cash, but I still might be able to find a way to buy the building. What? You could buy the whole building? Well, that would be amazing. Yeah, and when I do, I don't want you to lose any of the business, okay? I, uh, I really appreciate this, man. I want to hand this restaurant down to my family one day, you know? I got a little kid, Tony Jr. He's running around. Well, don't worry, okay? Because your family business is gonna continue, I promise. Thank you so much again. Family is the most important thing to me, you know? Yeah, um, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll wire you the money over later. Okay, you know what? After talking to that restaurant owner, he's right. Family is the most important thing in the world, and it's time that I settle the differences between mine. Wait, uh, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Oh, you're trying to rob me, huh? I'm not gonna let you, not again. Get out of here! Oh, oh calm down, okay? Hey, my dad used to live here. Well, not anymore. The family that used to be here is far gone. What? How? That guy lost the property. I don't know what to tell you. He couldn't afford it. And I bought it. Hey, wait, really? Yeah, and I think they live under a bridge now or something nearby. <laughs> it's so funny. It's not funny. That's my family. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, all right? Just don't come back here. People keep trying to rob me. I don't like that. I'm not gonna rob you, okay? Man, I feel awful. I have to go see if they're all right. Where are they at? Where's dad and Andy? <sighs> there they are. Guys, what's going on? Why are you guys living under a bridge? Oh, great. Just as if it couldn't get any worse. What do you want? Uh, Listen, we need to just put our differences aside right now, Dad. Because it's obvious that your pride is blinding you. I'm not gonna just accept help from my son. Are you kidding? I'm supposed to be the one taking care of you. It's okay to ask for help sometimes. We're supposed to be here supporting each other. Yeah, well, I don't support losers like you. I'm not a loser, okay? I've been working hard and now look at me. I'm rich. I can help. Andy, are you okay? Uh, I'm doing okay. <sighs> 
I miss you a lot, man. It's really nice to see you. Andy, shut up. I miss you too, man. Don't listen to dad. You know, it's a real thorn in my neck when my son thinks he's better than me. Well, I'm not, okay? We're all people. We all have our own issues. But I've worked past mine. It's obvious that you haven't worked past yours. Look, I don't want your charity or your big fancy speeches, all right? I want none of it. You know what, Andy? This is enough. You shouldn't be living under a bridge. You're just a kid, all right? Come with me. Really? You mean it? Yeah, if dad doesn't want to accept the help, then you at least should have the option to. Is that what you're going to do, Andy? You're going to leave your poor old dad here all alone? I, I, uh, Cole, I don't think I should. And now look at you. You're trying to make Andy feel sorry for you. You're guilt tripping him. You know what? Here, Andy, if dad's not going to accept this, at least you should. Stop staying under a bridge. Go get a home for yourself. I think you should at least cover it for a year. See, look at that. As promised, the restaurant's looking great. Honestly, business is better than ever. I've been so busy. Yeah, and I've been learning a lot from my boss, Danny, and I'm just happy that I got this place up and running. I'll admit, Colt, you're the most successful guy I ever met in my life. And I knew my Graham Grams. That lady was about business. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah, your family must be so proud of you, too. Yeah, um, hey, I'm gonna just take a step outside. I need some air. Hey, um, do you have any spare money? I really need it. Oh, man. Hey, are you doing all right? No, I'm homeless. I have been for quite a while now, and, uh, life hasn't been looking up. Well, hey, it makes you feel any better. I was in your shoes just a few years ago. Really? You, you, you were? No way. Look at you. You're, you're rich. Yeah, it's because I didn't give up, and I didn't let any obstacle get in my way. I think that you could do the same thing. I'm just honestly trying to go home to see my family. Really? You're away from your family? Yeah, miles. I don't think I can walk there. Well, a long time ago, someone helped me in the same exact situation, so... You know what? Here, take a hundred bucks. Wait, what? A hundred bucks? No way. No, I'm serious. This is gonna help you, alright? There should be a train station nearby. Wow, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I am so impressed with you. You made so much money, man. You're a full-time success. Thanks, dude. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, you might have to get used to it. What do you mean by that? Oh, I was getting kind of bored, you know? So I think I'm gonna retire. What? You're gonna retire already? You're so young, though. Yeah, but I've got this dream about sailing around the world. Like, you know, hanging out, throwing parties on a yacht. I made my money, man. It's time to celebrate and relax. Oh, wow, that does sound pretty cool, actually. You definitely earned it. Yeah, and I'm thinking about selling the company, too. So I want you to put it in the first bit. You want me to buy the company from you? I don't know if I can afford that. If you want, man, you can just buy it in pieces, you know? We'll do like a payment plan or something. We'll figure it out. But I really want you to take the reins of the company. That's insane. If I own this, and I'm gonna own almost the entire city. I don't know what to say. Uh, you could say, yes, I'll buy your company. Thanks, Danny, for being an awesome, incredible friend. Can I please come on your yacht? I don't know about the yacht part, but thanks, Danny. You're an awesome friend. I won't let you down. I gotta go scout the stores that I'm gonna start owning soon. Wait, what? Is that handy? Oh, you're not hiring? Okay, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, now get out of my face, you stupid homeless idiot. You look at you. You're so homeless, man. You can't talk to people like that. Says who? Me. I'm the owner of this building. Oh, uh, listen, uh, no, I don't want to hear anything you have to say. You're fired, man. Get out of here. No, I was just joking. I was just joking. Get out. Oh, man, how am I going to tell this to Rebecca? Whoa, Colt, you didn't have to fire that guy. Of course I did, Andy. No one's going to ever talk to my little brother like that. How are you doing? You don't look so well. Uh, uh yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm kind of homeless now, but you look really good. You own this place? Yeah, I told you I was going to build an empire. Wow, and you're actually doing it. I'm really proud of you, Colt. Thanks. Listen, you shouldn't be applying to places like this. You should, um, how about you come work with me? Well, that sounds really great and all, but I think dad would be really mad. I don't think it's the best idea. It's been years. You gotta start taking control of your own life. But you know what? I think it's finally time I settle this with dad. All right, all right, fine. You want to talk so much, then talk. Yeah, first things first. Why are you always so mean to me? What have I ever done to you? Mean to you because I'm jealous of you, Colt. Isn't that kind of clear? Well, that's just dumb. We're not competing with each other. I always wanted to be the strongest and the smartest. Then I had you and your brother, and I knew I had to do the best. Then you came along and became smarter and stronger than me. Enough that you could take care of us. I felt like a bad dad. Well, guess what? Both of your kids are grown up now, and we all have an opportunity to build something together as a family. But we're not going to if you're still stuck in the past. Uh, it's taken a long time for me to think, and, you know, you're probably right. I am a little stubborn. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Colt. Wait, seriously? You're sorry? Yeah, I messed stuff up, and I messed it up enough. I want you to get your brother going on the good path, too. He's smart, and I want him to be successful like you. I want that, too, Dad. But I also want to be a part of this family again. We all got to take care of each other. And with that being said, you need to start accepting my help. I, I will. I promise. This is going to be awesome. Thank you so much for the job and everything, Colt. I can't believe you own this restaurant, too. Damn, this place is nice. Yeah, it's owned by a good friend of mine.
of mine. Good friend of yours. Ah, oh, come on, Cole. We're basically family now, you know? This guy came in here and saved my family's business. Without him, I would have probably been homeless on the street eating pizza from the trash. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, well, enjoy your meals, guys, all right? Meals on me today. See? This is what happens when we work hard. You can have stuff like this. I never thought in a million years I would. The only thing I kept thinking about was, you know, my brother. I'm just glad to have you back in my life, man. I'm glad to have you back in mine, too. Oh, man. It looks like you're gonna be out of a car pretty soon, though. Hey, 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 my car! Hey, get back here! That's my brother's car! Wait, Andy, hold on! No, I'm gonna get this guy! No, no, it's fine, okay? Just calm down. There's gonna be people like that all over the city. Yeah, but that car's yours. You worked hard for it, and that's your stuff. People can't just steal it. That's not right. <sighs> it just makes you so mad. Yeah, well, guess what? We were in the same position a couple years ago. These material items sometimes aren't worth our safety. <sighs> yeah. You're probably right. Sorry, I just got lost control for a sec. It's all right, don't worry. You definitely have a lot to learn, though. Look at you, Andy. You look like a whole different person now. Yeah, I have to admit, I kind of look like an adult for once. Suit's kind of nice. Yeah, you look great, man. Thanks for coming into the yacht just to hang out. Yeah, of course. We had to celebrate for me paying you the last of the company. Can't believe this is all mine. Oh, yeah, well, I can. I'm really happy you pulled it off, dude. I knew you could make it. Well, I couldn't have done it without you or Andy. Well, Colt, you're my brother. I will help you any way I can. Family's the most important. Yeah, Colt, you have your whole new empire now. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna keep expanding. I'm not done yet. There's nothing that me and Andy can't accomplish now, especially since we're working together. All right, the two bros, the dream team. Really excited to see what you two can do. Yeah, so am I. This is going to be incredible. Our lives are going to change forever. Hey, Cole, I wanted to surprise you with something. Yeah, you told me. Is that why you brought me over here? What's going on? Do you remember this place? Yeah, this is where it all started. This is where we used to live. Exactly. We wanted to build an empire, and I think this is the place where it all needs to start. So I talked to the guy at the city hall, and I bought the land. This place is ours. Wait, really? That's crazy. What about the last guy that took the place from you guys? Well, the rumor is he didn't pay any of his bills and he got evicted. So this place sat vacant for a while. I was thinking we should build something here to give back to the community. Yeah, I love that idea. I just don't know how we're going to do it yet. Well, leave this all to me. I want this to be my gift to you. It's a way to thank you, you know, for changing my life as well. Wow, that means a lot, Andy. I know you're going to do great. Thanks. Who knows? Maybe we can build a house for dad someday. All right, just another checkup at this restaurant. Oh my gosh, it's burning. What's going on? Anyone in here? Oh, uh... Oh, no. Come on. I got to get you out of here. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, ah, no. No, the meatballs. Ah, ah. Oh, man. Colt, is that really you? Yeah, what happened here? The entire building just burned. Oh, something happened in the kitchen. It just caught fire. Oh, man. Was anyone else inside? I think I was the last one. I went in to double check and I got knocked out. Okay, well, at least everyone's safe. Don't worry. We can probably just buy another building or something. Buy another building? Come on. This one has been in my family for years. It won't feel the same anymore. Yeah, but even if it's not the same building, you're still going to be with your family and that's all that matters you guys can rebuild it together just like me and my brother did yeah i guess you're right just to build it anyways huh we'll do a new restaurant maybe one bigger yeah who knows you know what if this building means a lot to you maybe i can try to see what i can do to see if it can get fixed really you do that for me i mean it's just a building but uh you know it is kind of special yeah well let me see what i can do man this guy is rich <laughs> And now so am I. Wait, was I just robbed? Oh my gosh, why do bad things keep happening to me? What's going on? That was half my money. How am I supposed to fix the restaurant and fund the rest of the projects now? Oh wait, I have security cameras. Maybe I can see what happened. Yeah, no, everything was erased. Why is this happening? This seems a little bit more than just a coincidence. I have to find a way to get my money back. Hey, Andy. Cole, awesome. I'm actually glad you're here. I wanted to show you a couple of, uh, hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? No, I came out to tell you that I was robbed last night. You were what? Yeah, and they stole half my money. Oh no, that's... That's not gonna happen. So what are we gonna do? We call the cops? What? I don't know. I just need time to figure this all out. Well, what are you gonna do with all your money missing? That was gonna be the part of our next step. I think right now we just gotta focus on what's happening here. It seems like you know exactly what you wanna happen. And if this is where our empire is gonna start, then this is the main priority. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Colt, you're the toughest guy I know. You'll get through this. If you need help or anything, I've saved up some money and I'm more than willing to help you out. Just keep focusing on this, Andy. I really appreciate it. Are you sure? Because we can totally stop if you need time. No, we gotta keep this up. I think I know what I'm gonna do though. So you're serious, huh? You really want to sell this house? Yeah, I decided to sell all my material stuff because in my mind, it doesn't really matter. What? Are you serious? Look at how rich this place looks. You're just going to throw it away? I'm not throwing it away. I just want to have more of a normal life, you know? Yeah, well, you're crazy for doing that. Don't you want everyone to know that you're rich? I don't care if I'm seen as rich or normal or any of that. All I want to do is succeed in my goals, and that goal is to build an empire. Well, I mean, where are you going to sleep then, man? I'll figure that out when the time comes. Well, it's going to come in around uh, three hours, so you better figure that out. Here's a bunch of cash for the building then. I'll uh, get on to 
selling it. Hey, how's everything holding up over here? Well, thanks to you, me and little Tony Jr. over here are doing great. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much for helping us. Of course, here. This should be the last of the money you need for the rest of the repairs. Cole, well, I still can't believe this. You, uh, you really are something else, you know? Helping me, little Tony here. Yeah, me and Big Pops really appreciate it. You know what you say, Pops? Family is more important than anything, right? We gotta stick together. Stick together, that's right, exactly. That's what I always say. He always says it. Yeah, you guys are right. What I live by too nowadays. I'm just glad I'm helping people that are grateful. Oh, wait, uh, excuse me. Hello? Wait, what? Where is he? Where is he? Andy! Oh, hey, you must be called. Yeah, I'm him. Uh, I'm Andy's brother. Where is he? Please tell me he's okay. I, uh, I wish I could say that. Don't, don't talk like that. Why are you saying it like that? I want, I want to see him. Let me see him. You're, uh, too late, Colt. I'm sorry. Your brother didn't make it. Didn't make, no, 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 that's not right. There's, there's something that we can do. There's always something that we can do. Not in this case. Colt, your brother is dead. There's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry. No, no! Thanks, everyone, for, uh, for coming here today. Andy was probably the most important person to me. He had one of the best souls out there. He had such a bright future ahead of him until a car accident the day he was on his way to the big project we were working together. He wanted to help me build a wealthy and big environment and empire to be around, to take care of my family and the rest of the people in the city. And I'm not gonna stop just because he's gone. I'm gonna keep going forward and pushing through it. I wanna make Andy's dream alive. And just, I wanna remind everyone here to appreciate the people you have in your life right now. Because who knows? One day they'll be gone. Well, like I told you, Andy, it's all done. All of it. Everything's for you, man. I hope you're proud. Hey, go. Oh, hey, Dad. How are you, uh, how are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Wanted to come tell you that I'm, uh, <clears throat> proud of you. Really? You mean that? I do. I'm really sorry about how I treated you when you were younger. No, no. You, you don't have to apologize. I'm just sorry. I'm a little out of it today. It's just very emotional. You know, all of this was for Andy, and I know Andy would be terribly proud of you. He'd be proud of both of us. Because look at us now. We're both happy together. That's what he always wanted in the first place. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that this is always going to be my legacy, your legacy, and most importantly, Andy's. I'm going to name the city after him, and I'm going to make it so he's known for building this rich empire.